Here is a maze base that 50 people are going to try to 3 star for the prize of $200. I have already done 2 challenges like this and if you would like to take part to win cash prizes then all you need to do is to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Because only my subscribers will be able to see this community post with the details. As a little secret I can tell that in few days I will host new challenges where even town hall ones will have chance to win. As soon as I opened the gates people started joining. We had Tomb Raider joining the competition. We had the whole country of Romania. And even the Malfoy himself felt that playing Quidditch against Harry Potter is easy peasy lemon squeezy and he needs some actual challenge. Once the clan was full it was time to explain three very simple rules. First of all everyone has one attempt. Secondly troops heroes and siege machines have to be deployed from the bottom left side. And lastly whoever reaches over the furthest line first is the winner. The first section is $0, the second section $25, then $50, $75, $100 and crossing the last line is worth $200. It was time to ask the competitors. Are you ready? Everyone were ready and the challenge began. The very first attacker was Danny28554 and after a couple of hours passed I realized my guy Danny is not gonna start attacking anytime soon as he must be calculating that acceleration speed in order to see if Pecos little legs will ever be able to pass the first line for the juicy $25 or not. Meanwhile he was finishing his equation I took a little nap when all of a sudden I heard mosquito land on my lap ready to make that sucking gap but I hit him with that slap so he looked like absolute piece of crap then I had to wash him off with some water from the tap this is when I thought that I should wrap up the rap as our guy Danny finally figured out his plan how he should attack this map. But I was wrong because in reality all that time planning he came up with this poop attack that got him disqualified right off the pat. I got to pay my guy Danny some respect though for sacrificing that archer queen to tank 4bk so he could live couple of seconds longer and also the fact that he is using the best bk skin in the game the guitar smashing slash from the guns and roses. But above everything we all should respect Danny for living up to the clan name BK levels matter as he is one of the few people out there whose BK level is actually higher than Archer Queen's level. Despite the fact his attack got disqualified it was still my favorite attack so far. Even though earlier I told everyone to read the clan description for the rules I had to raise my voice to remind everyone again what the rules are. Then it was time for another competitor that happened to be Big Jammy with his big army of 30 golems from Lord of the Rings who were on their way to steal that precious ring from the jewelry store when they got it by a paint truck transporting green color. This is how goblins were born but now instead of the precious ring their brain was attracted to all the loot found on the planet earth. And as you can see their love for loot is demonstrated right here as they are hugging those collectors so strongly that one of them gets destroyed which made my guy Big Jammy take the lead in the competition. Then we got this attacker that thanks to the golemite was the first one to get past the $25 line which meant that he was now leading the challenge and if no one got any further from this section then happy days because I would only need to pay $25 to the winner and rest of the money I can invest into the dogecoin so that one day I can become billionaire like Melon Musk. People tried to get past the $25 section but without results until this big brain player came around with his carefully crafted strategy to blow up all my walls so that eventually his boosted bomb carrying Larry's would run all the way until the end of the base but our big brain player didn't take into consideration the fact that Larry's have only a skull and no brain so they would never be smart enough to do what he wanted them to do and once my guy realized that those wall breakers are as useless as red lights in GTA he switched up the strategy and sent in his hogs from the top of the base to say hi to my queen before I was gonna hand him over the last spot at the leaderboard. Little did I know though that my guy is not only a Napoleon level of war strategist but also a Grammy worthy comedian. After I finished rolling on the floor laughing my ass off I sent out another challenge and for my great surprise the war strategist slash comedian was back to share his innovative ways how to beat this base with his boosted larrys. People in the clan chat were a bit afraid of our big brain friend's attacking skills as he might soon 3 star my base so they requested to kick him out and that's exactly what happened. More and more attackers came but couldn't quite get past the $25 section and then some started complaining that low town hall levels have no chance at winning. Same thing happened in the comments section of my previous two videos. Why are we still here? 
just to suffer. No need to worry guys because as mentioned in the intro then no matter what town hall you have next video everyone will get a chance to win. After many attacks an emergency was called upon my base as SOS showed up with his purple boys from the tomato farm carrying their tomato bags around my base and throwing them at my buildings like a punch of vandals while wizards were trying to convince them that they are the cause of food shortages around the world and soon enough McDonald's will offer burgers without tomatoes if they keep throwing those tomatoes but purple boys didn't care and kept doing what they were doing. When I was watching this attack I couldn't quite get if my guy SOS passed to the $75 section or not so I had to call the VAR team over to confirm and as we were watching the slow motion it looked like he barely missed the $75 zone which made me as happy as Fly who found a fresh pile of cow's poo. But then the weirdest thing ever happened when Barbarian King attacked BK without a Barbarian King in a clan called BK Levels Matter that went against every possible logic there is. Despite the fact he attacked without BK his name Barbarian King packed so much power in it that he easily beat everyone setting a new record by being first to reach to the $75 section. Things were getting more intense as the Minecraft speedrunner Dream joined the competition but even he couldn't beat Barbarian King's score. As I saw that things were getting more risky for my bank account balance I had to start wrapping things up before someone steals my $200 so I allowed two more attackers to attempt to beat the absolute beast of a base I had created. And while my base was under attack by Romania I had to address one issue many of you guys had by not seeing the community post, and the quick answer is here. I hope it clears up the confusion. Anyway once Romania finished his attack it was time for the last attacker and as soon as I saw my guy's troop and hero levels and the fact that his name is Hussein the best my palms got sweaty, arms got heavy, my bank account balance almost empty and it started to look like it's time for me to go back to eating mom's spaghetti as another one of my subscribers was stealing my money. This is the first time in history anyone ever has 3 starred my maze base and out of all the challenges it happened to be today when I doubled the prize pool but as a man of honesty I am I straight away papaled Hussein the money. After as a tradition of mine I decided to check the winner's BK level at. Guys what have I told you billion times? Never skip your BK upgrades. Let me know in the comments what is your BK level and it better be higher level than Grand Simpster or otherwise I will come and steal your elixir storages so you won't be able to upgrade Grand Simpster until BK is maxed out. By the way if you are wondering what are 10 ways how to get free gems then check out this playlist with loads of videos similar to this. Bye guys.